There's smoke in the air, which means two puff smoke is back to bring you another stupid stoner interview. Tonight's guest, Stephen Martini. Let's get into it. There right. we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. All right. So, how are you today or tonight? Too, I don't too, know. Two puff. I love your name, man. Two puff. Hey, thank you. I uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, did you have I, two puffs before this conversation? <laughs> um, I did actually. <laughs> All right. All right. I wish. Uh, I wish. I, I hope you enjoy them. Oh yes, absolutely. Every time. Can you hear me? Am I cutting out? <laughs> Um, a little bit, a little okay. bit here and there, <laughs> but it's all right. Um, usually TikTok will uh, render let me it. see if I can, let me see if I can get someplace closer to the Wi-Fi. Hold on. Let me look at the, uh, I can do. All right. You there? Yep. I hear you. It's a little okay. laggy, but it. Could What's be up, a man? lot so worse. What's going on? Oh, just oh, really? trying to yeah. figure this I'm in, out. I'm in, uh... <laughs> All right, so I yeah, I'm I have in the middle of the a desert. Oh, you're in the desert. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have a cheat sheet because uh, I'm not gonna lie, my uh, thoughts are a little disorganized, so I'd end up repeating myself if I didn't. <laughs> I know the feeling. Yeah, so most people <laughs> recognize you from '90s movies such as Major Pain, uh -huh. Sm uh, Smiling Fish, and Goat on Fire, The Price of Love, and Friends Till the End, right? But sure. what are some what are some other films you have been in? Some other films I've been in. So uh, recently, I did a movie called uh, Grace and Grit. All right. And it's with um, Mina Suvari. You know, she's okay. the, she was in uh, American Beauty. And uh, um, it's also with uh, Stuart Townsend. I don't know if you know him. He's a great uh, British actor. He, uh, he played in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yep. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, that, that's a recent film that I've done. Grace and Grit. It's a... Uh, you know, it's 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 a romantic and yet also like a tragic love story. You know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so I had a fun part in that, and uh, yeah, so that's uh, and and I just did a, a movie called the uh, well, it was called the Sweepers. Yeah. But now now it's called Murder Syndicate, so I, I I don't really know what's happening with that. Right. Um. But uh, yeah, I've also also did a movie called uh, Lewis about Louis Armstrong, which I wrote. Oh, that's and, really cool. Yeah, and so uh, I wrote that, and it's a silent film, and uh, you know, it didn't it it it, uh, it didn't really get much attention at the time because it was kind of like a silent movie that that was right. uh, you know it had live music and stuff. So I I think that the, they're going to try and bring it back out again because it's it's you know it's, it's a pretty cool thing. So Heck yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to check all those out. I, I love I love films so. <laughs> oh, yeah, what is it? Oh, yeah. do you uh, what are you uh, are you uh, interviewer? Is that your thing? You like to? Uh... Um, I like to do everything. A little yeah. bit of everything. Um, my my fiance actually just got me into modeling too, and I was like, "What's right. up with this?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I, I I have a tough time just standing there. Yeah, it, it's um. <laughs> It's interesting. It's different. It's not. It's not something I like to do, but I've done it. You know. Um. Hey, man. But look, whatever pays the bills, right? Yeah, exactly. Um. So, what are some future movies we can expect you in? Some future movies. Uh, look, I did. Uh, I got a movie that. Um, that's coming out. Uh, that I'm, I'm. I'm pushing it out now. It's called Bittersweet. Okay. And and uh, I wrote it and uh, I starred in it and I directed it. Awesome. And uh, I did that also with my uh, well fian wife, fiance. Right, know. right, right, right. 
she pushed me in a certain direction and i said okay well, you want to go there let's go and right we, right <laughs> so now we made it we made it our, our own movie and i'm um, really really excited about it it's called bittersweet it's a total uh, independent uh dramedy um and it's uh pretty relevant to today's times and stuff so i'm um, just uh, you know it, we did it all of ourselves so like i'm out there basically trying to find you know some ways to, to show it to people and that's a whole right. different it's a whole different game than actually making the movie is is trying to like you know sell it oh absolutely definitely absolutely um i mean this interview thing i just started a month ago and it's got slow traction, but I know over time it's going to build just like anything else. It'll, it'll all snowball. Yeah, man. You just got to, you just got to keep doing it. It takes like consistency, you know? Exactly. And, and set times and schedules and dates. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, last night's interview, um, it fell through and I was, I was completely bummed about that. It was, it was, it's not good. Hey, I'm saying, hey, Londini's there. The great Londini just said, what's, hey, what's up, Londini? You know the great Londini? The great Londini? He's, uh, well, you can't see what I'm seeing? On my, no, uh, no, no. Oh, okay. So I'm <laughs> saying hi to people you don't even know. <laughs> yeah. um, KS, KS Williams. Yo, KS, what's up, man? Wait, hold on. Just figure that out. Um, most out. likely the Everything people that you're seeing are your followers and the people I'm seeing are my followers unless they're coming over from your live to my live. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, I see. KS right. Williams is hilarious, dude. Yo, thanks for that today. That thanks for the uh, he sent me something about the uh, there's a new DeLorean car from, you know, Back to the Future. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so cool. <laughs> yeah, and so it was, it was very funny and uh, yeah, really cool. It's, it's uh, like so yeah. So anyway, let me just shout out to those guys. It's I'll futuristic, but it doesn't go back in time. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, so what are you supposed to do on these lives? If I talk to my 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 people down here, you don't know what like you don't know what I'm talking. Yeah, about, I won't. Right? I won't. I won't see anything that they're saying. But you you can totally answer their questions. I have no problem against that at all. Um, that oh, okay. actually makes for better content in my, in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. I just gotta, yeah. I gotta tell KS that my, everything's well, everything's well, buddy. Londini, everything's good. All right. Yeah. So go on, keep going. All right. So, uh, wait, what happened last night? So your interviewer, so, so yeah, you know, I was worried about that too. I was like, shit, dude, this could not happen. I'm in the desert. It may not work. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. No. Um, Unfortunately, I guess uh, a tree caused a power outage, and uh, they've been having bad wind wind storms over in Philly. So I don't know. I I, I was just like, okay, well, I, here here's here's my thing. You get your TikTok following back up to a thousand, and get be able to go live again, and I will interview like reschedule for an interview because like. Facebook's audio quality, if we were to do this on Facebook or, like, Instagram, yeah. the audio quality would be complete garbage. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe because they suck? Yeah. Because TikTok is awesome? Maybe that's why? <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's why they want to fucking ban us. Bullshit. It is. It really is. Um... So, do you know what, what that's called, by the way? It's called a force majeure. It, when it, when it, lightning hits a tree, oh, yeah. What, yeah, force majeure. It's a force of nature. So, it's a legitimate reason to cancel something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, what drew you to the entertainment industry? Hmm. What drew me to the entertainment industry? I mean, you know, I grew up, uh, I didn't know that. I, I think I saw Star Wars when I was like two years old. And, All right. And then once I think I saw Indiana Jones and I realized that Han Solo and Harrison Ford were the same guy. And that means that must be a job. If that's the same guy, he shows up to work and does that. I'm like, well, what job is that? I want to do that. Right. Right. And, exactly. Yeah, so slowly but surely you end up going, well, well, how do you do that? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And, uh, 
get your foot in the door and there you are major that's pain <laughs> yeah, like that that's the part that's a minor miracle you never know what the door you know what door right. to stick your foot in right right yeah, well, no, that's very true because sometimes it could be a complete flop and then you just don't know. And... You don't know. But the key yeah. is just, it's just like this. It's getting up every day and saying, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go yep. out for more opportunities. Absolutely, absolutely. You, you, can't, you, can't say, you can't say no and expect to get somewhere. You know what I mean? You got you to yeah. say yes every now and then. To, to every opportunity, well, not every opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there there are exceptions. Sometimes you got to get in where you fit in, you know. Right. Exactly. <laughs> um. So, when you're not working on projects, what do you like to do on your spare time? Well, that's a good question. Well, uh, what do I like to do in my spare time? You know, I'm I'm a dad, so I have two little little boys, and so they're pretty much uh, okay. they 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 take up a lot of my uh, attention and my uh, you know my your time. You know. And I get that. I I got three little ones out there asleep right now. Oh, um, how old? How old? Um, man, you would ask right now. <laughs> um, two, five. And six. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, man. Those are woof. You're right in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. It's um minus it's, seven and seven and eight. All right, all right. So you're getting to those <laughs> older ages that are more fun. It's oh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well yeah, 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 yeah. They start to uh yeah. Well now they're on Roblox and video games. Now they're all over the internet and you know Oh yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. I, uh, it's my nephews. I, I remember bringing them a Nintendo 64 and then having that be their first game system. Now they're playing Fortnite with me and they're like, Uncle, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the circle, of, the circle of life, my friend. That is the circle oh, of life. <laughs> what, what the, so, I mean, uh, you know, I guess, though, the... the 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 other answer is is music. I play a lot of music, uh, just for for my own kind of f like feeling of expressing something that's immediate. If I you know if I'm feeling oh, something, absolutely. I need to let it out. I I I play music. Right. Heck yeah. So you know, pretty much, and and you know, on a good day, my my kids will jump in. You know, that actually kind of leads into my next question. For those that don't know, what is the spaceship martini? Ah, what is the spaceship martini? That is for those that don't don't know. It's true. It it was birthed in the unknown. I used to we used to play at this place called the Unknown Theater. Okay. The spaceship martini was the uh, one of the, one of the uh, the uh, resident bands at a place called the Unknown Theater, which was in Hollywood. Yep. And uh, it was one of the coolest places I've ever been to. Uh, it was pretty underground. And, uh, you know, basically it was a bunch of actors, writers, uh, musicians, and comedians. And, um, and we would all just get up and, and, and play shows and do stuff. And so uh, it was birthed in that sort of crucible. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just my... my my best friends that I've been playing with for years, you know, we just get right. together and we play music. So, Heck yeah. and I've, you know, we'll, we'll also like, I've scored movies, you know, like I just scored this last movie I made with, with my band and I scored a film that I did called Lime Life with my okay. band. And, and, um, Lime Life was a, a movie starring Alec Baldwin and, uh, Emma Roberts and, yeah. um, and Kieran Culkin. And my, uh, my, you know, I did, I wrote the film, I wrote the screenplay and, um, I also made the movie with my brother and I did the, the music for the film and, and Spaceship Martini did the score for that. So it's, it that's whole, amazing. Uh, yeah. And so we still, we still try to do as much as we can when we can, you know, so it's just, yeah. it's something that never goes away. So, uh, um, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, and I as like a kid, that. as a kid, I always wanted to have my own, I thought that by now we'd have our own spaceships. 
You know. You know what? I agree. I agree. <laughs> we need to have spaceships by now floating around. Personal vehicles, right? Personal floating vehicles. Yes. You know, like. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So the band is an extension of that. Okay. Okay. And um, the band, you can, you know, it's it's a totally it's independent, a sort of, you know, underground band. It's not signed a thing. Music for me was always playing for fun. Right, you know, like right. and every every time it became about playing for money and stuff, like the fun just was evaporated, and it became yeah. like, oh god, this is like ridiculous. Who wants it's, to do this? It's for the release, you know. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> the 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 um, what's the word? It's on the tip of my tongue. Artistic release. Yeah, artistic release. Exactly. Man, hold on. Somebody said the boss ninety five just said, man, Major Pain is the best type of movies growing up. Thanks, man. You the boss. Actually, Jesse, I, Jesse, I can't. Oh, what? Oh, sorry, Jess, Jesse uh, Wayne says howdy from Houston. Ghosty McToasty says yo, Martini, how's it going, man? What's up, everybody? Um, but yeah, no. Uh, I was going to say something about Major Pain. Actually, that was that was a great film, and uh, <laughs> believe it or not, um, characters like you played Bart Simpson, you know. <laughs> <laughs> those were those the were 90s, all man. characters I used. Those were all characters I used to idolize. Ah, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, so cool, dude. So yeah, I'm like, honored. <laughs> I'm honored to be up there with Bart Simpson. <laughs> well, no, honestly, honestly, that's I'm awesome. honored to have you uh, on the interview because this is this is this is major for me. Honestly, I. I, I I haven't All booked right. That's awesome. this major of an interview yet. I've I've booked the semi-famous underground artists, you know, but not like the insane clown posse. <laughs> yeah, well, that yeah, 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 yeah. Those guys. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You the, go, those. Well, I heard, and you said you did something with Cheech and Chong. Oh yeah. So um, basically, on my main page which is just two puff smoker um i had posted me well you know two puff smoking <laughs> and i was like i challenged cheech and chong to a smoke off they actually duetted me but after it got so many million views it got taken down because of TikTok's guidelines because they're like, oh, this is illegal, this is contraband, and duh, so you're not, duh, duh. you're not, you're not, you're not allowed to smoke smoke cannabis on TikTok. So, you're not allowed to smoke anything a- on TikTok. Anything. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Even tobacco. Interesting. Well, yeah. All right. Yes. Well, like, wow. So yeah, I guess so because that's. I guess it but makes people sense. People can get blacked out, wasted on TikTok. Yeah, right? Why? I mean, come on. Right. It's <laughs> it's whatever, crazy. man. I can't control it. So wait, I could be I could be holding a uh, a bottle of uh like like tequila or something and just yes. chug it away. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I I usually prefer pulling spring. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is uh look, this is clean. What's that? Yerba mate. All right. It's like an energy drink. But I'm guessing all natural. Uh, you're guessing right. Complete. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. I have a hard time reading backwards. But yeah, well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it depends on how many uh, puffs you took. Um. Well, I think the two I took was strong enough to be equal do you, to like ten. But <laughs> wow. do, do, do do you vape or do you? Uh... Um, I prefer glass water pipes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. Ser- you're a serious, serious yeah. aficionado. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I I mean, all of these stickers on my microphone are all sorts of different strains that i have um tried so i'm i'm the funny thing is though is i'm actually coming to a point where i'm cutting way back to yeah you got to 
it so that I'm more productive, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. I can't I can't get crap done if I'm just smoking all day. Yeah, that's true. That that's that's the that's the that's the negative aspect of cannabis. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, it is it is it is a true stereotype for some people and for a long time user such as myself and a long time heavy user. When did you uh when did you start? 13 years old. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Oof, that's that's young. I did not even try it until uh I was in my like mid 20s. All right, all right. Yeah. Well, that's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was really i I was happy that I did that because uh, yeah. No, um, I'll never forget the first time. It was just it was magical, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. Um, I I will say that uh, if it weren't for starting so young, I wouldn't have so many stories to tell. So. <laughs> it that's... makes for good content, good music, good. Movie now, were, ideas. were you making were you making videos and stuff when you were like a, a teenager? Um, w well, what do you mean? By at like video? thirteen? At thirteen, were you on the internet? Um, I was on the internet, but not like this. Um, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I was more one of those guys that would pop up in people's comment sections and just troll the fuck out of them and piss them off. <laughs> Because I had oh, nothing right. better right. to do with my life. And that's where I spent all my creativity was in... Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, you got to be careful with that. Yeah, I... I, I, I uh, what do you call it? Self-destructive behavior. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That. yeah you got you to keep that in... You got to keep I that hope. in check, you know? I mean, at this point in my life, I'm 32 years old. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I got hey, three Steven. kids, fiance. Hey, I... hey Stephen. Hey, Stephen. Love major pain growing up. My daughter, who now is a teenager. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Revelation Ministries. Revelation. Happy Easter, Revelation. Happy so Holy, a, Holy Saturday. As another question, what got yeah. you into making music in... What age did you start? Hey, what's up? Uh, what age did I start what? Music. Making music. Um, oh, uh, you know, it's funny. I, I, I took piano lessons when I was a kid, right? Okay. And, uh, Gotta start but somewhere. I, I, I did, but I used to hide. I used to run away. I used to hide under the bed. I used to make the piano teacher search for me in the house. <laughs> But then, as I got older, my then my my parents went were going through like a divorce, you know. So right. by the time I was like, I was actually it's funny you say thirteen, right? You were smoking weed. For me, I started really like playing the piano because I was going through all this emotional stuff, and I was like, kind of oh, wow. I was I was feeling how I could transfer those emotions into the instrument, and then the instrument would give me back this beautiful music. So like that's oh, wow. when I was just I was just hooked and so then that's when I kind of started but I didn't really play in bands or like you know I didn't really do that stuff until I really after like uh major pain I I moved out to Los Angeles and I and I bought a guitar okay and uh, the guitar I, well I brought the guitar it was my grandfather's guitar that he that he left me when he died Oh wow yeah and I started and I started playing this my grandfather's guitar and then that's when I taught myself basically from piano to guitar. Yeah, you know, there's there's a there's a trans, you know, there's like a, a learning curve. Like right, dark right. I'm getting dark. I gotta find some light. Yeah. So anyway, so then I guess I guess I really didn't start writing songs in bands until I was like, you know, like twenty years old. You know. Okay. Let me, let me see. Is there any lights out here? Oh, here we go. All right. Hey. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in the bathroom, guys. Here. Wow, wow, it's too bright, huh? That's actually where I'm at right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you we go. There Everywhere we go. else in the house, there's somebody sleeping. So. Yeah, I know what it's like, man. You're in the thick of it too, right? Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah. If I if, if I wake up one, they all wake up. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what it's like. That's the magic part of life, though. Oh yeah, definitely. Being around your kids is like just it's the best part of life. On honestly, uh, it gives it gives me meaning to my life. <laughs> yeah. They really they're so they they bring out so much joy and like you know the whole world is such. Yes, right? Like, there's so much crap. Oh, yes, and, and just like, turning on your TV to watch the news or... Oh, my God, the TV and the media. The media is, oh, my God, it's yeah, awful, Yeah, just right? even, even social media nowadays. Like, I go on Facebook, and right now I've got a bunch of juggalos talking about how ICP slept with underage girls, and that's nothing new. They've been doing that for years. And yeah, who gives a shit? Like, what's come on? This is what people are. That's crazy. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I it's mean... like they're just discovering it, and it's like, no, this is this is not new news. And then and then there, other people that are talking about the Bud Light bands and Kid Rock, and it's who, who it's just shit? all drama. It's yeah. all drama. It's like, does it really affect you and your life and your kids? And you're like, well, come on, what is this? Right. It, it, it's because they just stuck on social media because they don't know what else to do. Right. Fortunately. <laughs> right. Well, all those rock stars are also having the reckoning from the years, of the, you know, the whole century of debauchery that those rock stars would do with, with their younger fans, you know, which is... Right. Which is crazy when you hear all these stories. You're like, oh my God, how do people right. do that? Right, right. And it's like, honestly, at this point, I'm just... Amen. It's not me, so I don't really care. It's, yeah, right. it's, not, it's them. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. It's like, why, why do we... Why, you know, we can't put all that crap in our heads. Like, why are you telling me I got to give a crap about this? Right. Right, you know? exactly. Like I don't want I don't want that negative energy in my life. Yeah, exactly. That's why you, you got to shield it away. You need like a shield, a Absolutely. protective force field. That's why religion works. That's why you know G today is it's Easter. It's a Jesus. That's why Jesus is like a and and, and you know and and Buddha is also a very powerful teacher. You know that you can. But you Jesus is like any, anything. These guys, yeah, you can learn from learn from them all. You know. See, the thing is, is you can you sift through it. You find the lessons. You find the meanings. You find the morals. You 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 take everything literal. You're going to be one of those hypocrites that's doing one thing and then saying another. Right. Exactly. And that's the problem: is people using these teachings as like control control. Uh, you know, they, they use the teachings to control people, but then they don't really listen to them, right? Right, exactly. They're like, oh, Jesus said this. Well, did he? You know that? Like, did you read this? Some people don't even read the Bible, and they preach about the Bible, and it's like, okay. You, you have to have your own relationship with it. You know, you can't, like, anybody else's deal with it is their deal. You have to have your own, like relationship with it oh absolutely yeah. absolutely and that's the thing out in the wilderness of life when you get older you realize oh my god i can't really who am i gonna ask there's right. nobody there's like who is who you know like you're lucky if your parents are still alive and and they they, they they care you know and they're like good parents and they want to like give you wisdom and you know right but if you don't have that then like where else are you gonna go right exactly <laughs> exactly Oh, look, somebody just said, Rome, oh, yeah, Revelations Ministries. Look at this. Just said Romans 10, 17. 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and by, yeah, and hearing so by the word of God, yeah. You were saying um, that you write and direct? Yeah, I do. Okay, I do so are there more movies that you've written and directed? Is it, uh, well, um, this the first one that I did was... That I wrote was called was Smiling Fish and Goat on Fire. All right, all right, the one that I had mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, and that one was just like I made it with my friends and my family, and we're like, let's go make a movie. And you know, okay. we made in the course of like six months, we just made it, and you know, it ended up doing really well at the film festivals, and 
Yeah, you know, yeah, no, I noticed that. Yeah, and it was a great, 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 uh, experience. like my whole life opened up to this world of independent film, and so I spent, I spent many years on that whole circuit of, you know, like, it's so funny, the first film is always like, yeah, we'll just do it, and then like the second film, though, yeah, it, it doesn't take six months. It takes you know, it takes eight years. You know? Yep, 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 yep. You know, because you, and then you're like, what the hell happened? How did this happen? Because you start, because as soon as you start asking other people what to do, yeah, yeah, you know, no, yeah, that, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go by what you you feel. Yeah. I I feel like because uh, I mean, it's your it's your film, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, but, getting outside advice does help, though. It does help, but the thing is, in the film industry, it usually ends up becoming like something oh, yeah. else. Oh yeah, no, what? You, oh, you know, what? we need so and so involved. That'll make this. That'll bring us a million dollars. And then you're like, oh really? Yeah, yeah, I know so and so. And then you're like, oh yeah, he just wants to wait six months. I'll get him the script in six. You know, and the next thing you know, it's six months, and you never hear. And then right. somebody else says something, and you're like, should I be waiting? Perfect for example would be like Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Oh, you don't know. No. Beetlejuice, so, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> originally, Beetlejuice was actually supposed to be an undead samurai. What? Yes. No way. Yes. The that whole, sounds amazing. <laughs> even Beetlejuice was spelt wrong. They spelt it J U I S or I C E, and it was supposed to be G E U. Oh right, like like, or something like the like star, that. like the star, yes. the constellation. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah, yeah. There's there's so many things about that film that were improved last minute. Wow. That it, yeah. Of um, course, because Michael Keaton's a genius. He is. He is. Um, and then, um, there's also little subtle hints to him directing batman and the nightmare before christmas the only oh wait no i um, not michael keaton but tim burton right the only true batman i agree the only true batman and actually that led to yes honestly he was he was a great batman i don't think anyone could actually <laughs> do a better job oh i know i know it was ridiculous i can't wait to see the new one right Wait, which one? He's the Batman? Back. No, he's coming back. Uh, Michael Keaton in the in the Flash, right? What? Yeah, he's he's Michael Keaton is in the the Flash is gonna jump into the multiverse and go into the Burton verse. Where have I been? Yeah, well, two puffs. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Oh, that was a great. Great, great Joker too. Nicholson. Yeah, he was amazing. Um, all right. Well, Who are this some is... actors you have met? Who have I met? Oh, yes. Uh, I've met. Uh, who have I met? That's a good question. I met. Um, I worked with Alec Baldwin, uh, Tim, Tim okay. Timothy Hutton, all right. uh, Jill Hennessy, uh, Bob Robert Redford. Right. Uh, I met I met uh, James Cameron. Uh, I mean, obviously the cast of Major Pain. <laughs> the whole entire cast of Major Pain. I met them. I, I spent a lot of time with those guys. I'm trying to get them back together for a uh, like a reunion kind of thing. Yeah. It's just it's 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 a little little tough to gather everybody. Honestly, I think it would be good for Orlando. In his yeah, tough times. Yeah, I would hope so. I would hope so. I and actually, I wrote a little like short, like six minute, like uh, teaser for like the, uh, you know, the 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 sequel. Oh, that I, would be awesome. I'm trying to get everybody together to see if I can shoot something. And worst comes to worst, I put it out on the internet and just get people like, "Holy crap, this is the major pain sequel," you know. So like, it could honestly. Drop yeah, I, yeah, I like that. That could, that would be, be amazing. It just takes a lot, you know. Like I have to get a lot of oh, people yeah. together, you know. It's just like oh, it's, yeah. it's not just sitting around a table and a reunion, which would be the easiest. Right? No, no, no. You actually have to go in and front film of, and film stuff, you know. Right? Exactly. And then bring it to 
who I, wait, who owns the film rights to Major Pain? Universal. NBC Universal. Universal. So you would have Peacock. to propose it to Universal, correct? Right, right, exactly. Right. But on the internet, you can just kind of do something that's fun, that's just I, like a, a parody, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and with AI now, even if I couldn't get, uh, like, let's say Damon's too busy, it's impossible to get in touch with them. With AI now, you can cheat things, you know? You can have the voice. Oh, absolutely. You know, like, absolutely. <laughs> I've been noticing that more and more. Um, a whole class got uh, expelled or something for using uh, Chat GPT. <laughs> yeah, I know Chat GPT. Yes, the prin- Have you seen the princess? Yeah, I've seen the A-list actors doing the princess bride scenes. That that's a, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Have you seen that? I, no, no. There's like all these random A-list actors doing scenes like on their phones at home. From huh. the print from the Princess Bride. I'm gonna to have to check that out sometime. Yeah, look it out. My Revelation Ministries just, just reminded me of that on uh, on on TikTok. Hello, Cadet Alex Stone. What's up? AJ Rick. AJ Rick Auricchio. Is that right? AJ Rick Auricchio. Is that the so, right way to say it? Um, where can we find your music that you do you do do? You right do record. Now. Well, I have some Spaceship Martini. The Spaceship Martini has uh, uh, some stuff on Spotify. Okay. And uh, in, in my TikTok link, I think that there's a band lab. Uh, not band lab, a band camp. You know, oh, band yep, camp? yep, yep. So I have a link on my profile that people can go in and listen to all the stuff. I have new stuff I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be releasing with the, with the new movie that I'm, you know, that I'm coming out with. So I'll be, you know, doing more of that stuff. And... Uh, I'm going to probably do some music tomorrow, Easter Sunday. I'm going to do a little music. Uh, I like I like, I like to do little music video things on TikTok just, just for my own, like, yeah. you know, for the holidays and whatever, just for fun. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah so. why not? I'm going to do an Easter song tomorrow. That's cool. Yeah. I, I, I hope everybody tunes in, checks that out. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, honestly, I do all this, like, now, I, I had to come to terms with all this social media stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, an introvert. I'm not, like, a guy who's going to be like, yo, look at me, 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 you know, like, so, like, it takes me time. So now I'm just, like, I don't I even it. care. I don't even care what anybody says about the stuff I post. I don't even, so what, I get seven views? Who gives a shit? What are you going to do? No, no, honestly, and... What's up, oil field trash? All I have to say is I'm just glad I got this interview before you got your verification check mark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they'll ever give me that fucking thing. Meta, Meta won't give it to me. Facebook, they're being pains in the asses. So who knows? Yeah, most of, most uh, my girlfriend just bought hers on Instagram. I was like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, well, that's you know if you're gonna play the game, right? You gotta you gotta yeah. jump jump in. So. You know. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna earn my. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I'd rather, I'd, I feel more accomplished by earning it than purchasing it. Yeah, right. I know. I know, but you know, we're in a world of pay to play these days, so it's like. Oh, absolutely. I mean, look at the rapper Six Nine. Most crazy. Of his, most of his plays are all bots. So that's crazy. I, see, I can't even. That's the game where I'm like, you know what? I can't play that game. I gotta just do my thing and like just hope, enjoy music. Enjoy cause, it because you would stress yourself out. Keep trying to keep up I with did. stupid artists that aren't even like worth a dime. Honestly, I know. I know. I know. Wait, they're at oil field trash is asking me did I ever get a hold of Chris? Chris Owen, you mean the uh, Woolog the redhead from Major Pain, I think he means. I have not I only on message on Instagram, but we have not uh talked on the phone. Or or we haven't I'm trying to get this major pain uh yeah. No, I haven't talked yet. I think he lives on the east coast, so it's a little hard. Who me? I, uh, no, oh, not, oh, 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 okay. Sorry, major, major pain. I know this is this. You, I don't know. I've never done this before. The new sheriff in town is made. Yeah, that's true. Alex Stone is the new sheriff in town. Actually, that that would be a cool twist. I know, right? That would be fun. I, like, I think and I, then I, like, I, I, what major pain was like the uh, head of the whole 
campus, you know what I mean? Yeah, like the general, the principal. Right, the right. Headmaster, they call it. Yes, there we go. Headmaster. Headmaster yeah. All right, but this is cool, man. But I, I think I gotta go. My kids are in the uh, the room. Uh, how, how how long do you usually do this for? Uh, honestly, we can wrap it up. This this has been a great interview. Honestly, it's been one of my best interviews and more personal. Honestly, because you you kind of interviewed me too. Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's better if you just talk to people. I don't. I'm not just like a you know a mannequin right. waving. Like I don't. You know. Right. Yeah, I like no, this I is like cool that. though. I would, I would totally, I would love to do like a interview thing. It's cool to talk to people, like a podcast kind of thing. Oh, definitely. Um, uh, what I usually do after this is thank you, um, Angel Eyes. Have a great night too. I go to the live replay. I download the video, extract the audio, and then upload it to my podcast. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. How do I? How do I comment to people? Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. You figured out how to comment with two, like two, two toward, toward yeah. people. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but, cool. Anything hey, else? Been, anything else you want to talk about? Anything else um, you're interested in? Can I help you with anything in your life? <laughs> help me with anything in my life. Well, I mean, if you ever need a stoner in a movie, sometimes. <laughs> Where do you live exactly? Oh, uh, I live in New Hampshire, but I can travel. <laughs> New Hampshire. All right, cool. Well, I'm in. Uh, my brother lives in like Rhode Island, and I'm, I'm supposed to go to the East Coast at some point. So when I'm around, I will. Uh, I'll let you know. I'm, I'm following you now, buddy. All right, definitely. That sounds good. <laughs> this is a great conversation, man. And let me know if you want to do it again uh, uh, any other time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, shoot. We can definitely schedule another interview sometime. Uh, I, actually, at this point, I don't even see it as an interview. I see it more of just shooting the shit with you. Yeah, just talking. Yeah, whatever. Who gives a shit? I like this. This is cool. I I've been trying to figure out how to feel comfortable on TikTok lives because it's very awkward for me. But this is this is cool. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I trust me. I get it. I used to just sit there talking to the comments. Whoop, yeah. whoop, what's up, King Wicked? <laughs> All right. Well, you have a great night. It has been a pleasure. Yeah, man. And thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, man, of course. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to talk again, let me know. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I know where to message you, so. <laughs> All right, make, are your kids asleep or are they up? Mine? Yeah. Oh, they're they're all asleep. They're they're they've been passed out for 2-3 hours now. Oh, okay, good for you. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Good, good man. I'm actually going to go crawl in bed and pass out now. Uh, all right, man. Good. Enjoy that, buddy. You enjoy it. All right. Well, well, well earned. Hell yeah. You have a great night or right, what day. Are, how do we how do we get off of these things? I got you. All right. There, there's the power button up in the corner. Right. Is that ending the whole live cuz all these these little guys are still here? Oh, that yeah, that will end the whole live. I can I can just end my live, and then you can still be live. Okay, okay. I'm just answering a question from one of these guys. All right. I'll see you later, buddy. All right, later. <laughs>